How do you think they handle Bo Horvat tonight? Well, first of all, they should be super thrilled because he left all his goals in Vancouver, or at least a large portion of them in Vancouver. He scored all of them there because hmm. um, it hasn't been, you know, the easiest of times with the Islanders. Having said that, um, I don't, I know they're going to boo him. I get that, but you should cheer him as well because of all those things that you mentioned. That was last year in Vancouver was more that one team had to deal with than a lot of teams deal with in five years. It was just one thing after another, whether it was the president making a comment yeah. or it was a player or it was the Tanner Pearson situation or, you know, the team wasn't playing well. And then they fought like there was a lot yeah. to unpack last year. And Bo Horvat was around for a lot of it. Um, I find it really interesting when, because it's not like Bo Horvat's like he wanted to stay in Vancouver. He wanted to sign an extension and they chose JT Miller yeah. over him. And that's, I mean, look, it's, it looks like it's fine. JT Miller has been great under Rick Tockett, but I think that's where I lean towards. Like you got to cheer this guy rather than boo him. And I know the Shannon Hogan interview ruffled a lot of feathers. I enjoyed it thoroughly, but yeah. I think you got to cheer Bo Horvat because he wanted to be there. The organization made the decision for him not to be there. And that's where I think he should be applauded for being a professional throughout that process. Yeah. I think if you're going to boo him, that's fine. I don't like telling people what to do, but here I go. If you're going to boo him, like at least for part of the part of the tribute, give him some polite applause because he really did a lot for the Vancouver Canucks. Again, yeah. at a very, very, like in a, in a sort of transition phase between what was and what is now. And what is now is really good. Like we've talked about this plenty this year about, you know, the, the suddenly red hot Vancouver Canucks and at every single position, they're dominating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Vancouver should feel good about itself, but don't forget the players that are there during the dark times <laughs> and held themselves to a certain standard like Bo Horvat did. 